For 27 years, I was a dysfunctional alcoholic. I didn't even know I had a mental health condition. I thought I was all right. In June 11th of 2011, a veteran knocked on my door named Kelly and said, I need to talk to you. Now, we used to drink together. He was in treatment at Prairie Point VA Medical Center in um, Cecil County. So he came and got me. He said, I'll be back tomorrow. I'm arguing, I'm fussing. No, you're going down the VA. I've been to every group in the VA, father's group, bereavement group, addiction group, um, you know, sexual relation group, all that stuff. I've been to every group. It's over 30 groups every day in the VA hospital in Baltimore. So he said, make sure you go in this group. And when you go to the group, sit up front and don't fucking talk. Now, I can't beat this goddamn Marine. There's nothing I can do with him. So I said, look, I'm just going to follow orders because, you know, he's, he's not leaving me. He's sitting on the hallway waiting. I'm telling you this. So you going to be right there? He said, yeah, I'll be right here when you finish. He got me a primary care doctor. got me a psychiatrist. The psychiatrist called me and said, Jamal, you're still drinking. So what we're going to do, we're going to send you to Perry Point VA Medical Center for four to six months. And they put me in a room by myself in the VA hospital to answer that telephone. And the other end of the phone was a guy named Jim Witt. He said, are you ready to come up here? I didn't know where I was going at. I didn't know I was an alcoholic. I didn't know I had a mental disorder. I didn't know I was angry. I ain't no shit. I got shipped to Perry Point. Now mind it, I ain't been on a military base since 1990. I didn't know what to expect. You see all this military stuff and these barracks and all this stuff going on. I was like, what the hell is this shit? I went to the intake. They put me in a room with seven people, a psychiatrist, a therapist, nutritionist, asking all these questions. I said, I need a room by myself. So they put me in a room by myself. That's what they call a treatment team. Now you gotta put that work in. The detox from the alcohol almost killed me. Shitting, sweating, pissing, toilet black, stuff coming on my nose, and getting IVs and you're getting orange juice and all this stuff like that. I'm shaking. I can't sleep. I'm aching, my whole body was aching. Then I knew I was an alcoholic. That's when that set in and that was depressing. Then I went to mental health because you gotta see the psychiatrist and I got a diagnosis for chronic PTSD with adjustment disorder with a personality disorder unotherwise specified. I got three mental health diagnoses in Perry Point. It is what it is. I did with Trevor and Kelly told me you sit up front, you take notes, you ask questions, you don't socialize, and they sent me to anger management because I don't like fucking people. I had two people try me up there. I went in on a rec hall and I sat at a table and the guy was like, you sitting in my chair. I said, I don't see no signs here or nothing like that. He said, like, well, you sitting in my chair. So what I did is took the chair, put it on the table like this. Fuck you. I'm from East Baltimore. You know what I mean? I mean when I was coming up, people do all that fucking talking. I'm trying to detox off this alcohol. This cat challenging me. So, you know, the staff intervened a whole nine yards. That was one dude from D.C. Coons Dominion. That's what I call him. Coons Dominion nigga from D.C. Old muscle bound motherfucker trying to flex on me. I'm saying, man, man, I don't care about the muscles. My mental health is so fucked up. I couldn't think. I couldn't sleep. I was having nightmares, flashbacks, all kinds of shit. See, mental health conditions are exacerbated by military service. Reason being because you don't never know what somebody's doing. They might be having them Patriot missiles, whereas though that thing is $20 million and they can't make a mistake. Well, they might be on B2 bombers and they got to put the right codes in for the bombs to drop on people. You could be in Germany somewhere and see somebody get ran over a tank range and they might give you a shovel to pick up the body and put it in their body. That never happened. Guy on a flight deck looked the wrong way in a helicopter the when the boat shift and the helicopter thing propellers took his head off. PTSD is an umbrella of conditions where it's through. You got insomnia today, hypervisions tomorrow, anger with irritability, it, it, it fluctuates. The endorphins and chemicals in our brains don't regulate the same like normal people. I'ma die, let everybody know that. I'm living the prayer that I prayed. I was on my knees at Perry Point in treatment. My first time in treatment, I prayed to God to help myself and help his people. And I ain't backing out that prayer. I put Shirley Caesar on plate to the death, cut the light off, and that's it. I'm actually living the prayer that I prayed. And it's coming to fruition.